Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe at home. So guys, today we are going to be talking on an interesting topic related to coloring of our succulents. A lot of you are very interested and keen to know how I tend to acquire these vibrant colors on my succulents. Hence, I decided to make a video so I can share with you a few tips that will also help you get these vibrant colors. So guys, before we start the video, there are certain important things that I wanted to discuss with you. So guys, the first and the most important thing is never compare your succulents with the ones that you see on social media like Instagram and other social handles. That's because guys, there are a lot of factors behind the picture. Maybe the city or the place where the pictures have been taken is very different from your city. So always keep in mind, don't compare. And the second thing guys, whenever you tend to see certain pictures on the seller's page which are being advertised, don't expect that the succulent that you're going to receive is going to look exactly the same. Now I had purchased the succulent from Nursery Live. You can see how the picture looked on the seller's page and when I received how it looked. Now guys, this all depends upon the succulent because guys remember when the succulent is being ready to ship, the succulent is removed from the soil, it's kept for drying for two to three days after which it's put in a box that has no light there is no proper air circulation in the box so you can imagine what's going to happen to the succulent so definitely there's going to be a lot of difference how the succulent looks from the time it is sent from the seller to you and when you receive the succulent and when you open the postage please don't feel disappointed it it's a very natural thing to happen to a succulent so please don't be disappointed so guys, here you can see the amount of difference, how it looked on the seller's page, how I received and how it started growing at my place. Now this succulent was purchased uh, in the mid of uh, summers and then it went through the monsoon season and finally when it reached to the winter season, that is the dormant season, you can see how beautiful the succulent looks. So guys, the main question is how do our succulents get this color? What promotes this color onto the succulents and why these colors don't stay onto our succulents throughout the year? So guys, the reason why the succulents get this color is because of stress. Now guys, every succulent variety has two parts in their life. One is the growing season and one is the dormant period. So the dormant period is one of the most important part because that's where our succulent tends to get this beautiful color. Now that's basically because guys the succulents are gone to rest. Now usually when we tend to rest we wear a blanket to protect ourselves, and that's how succulents use this colorful blanket in order to protect themselves from the harmful UV rays of the sun. Now that is where the succulents tend to get this vibrant and beautiful colors. Now guys succulents do go dormant in summers as well as in winters. It depends upon which variety you're dealing with. With. some succulents will go dormant in summer and some will go in winter so guys in this video what I'm going to be teaching you is only related with winter dormant succulents we are not going to be talking about summer dormant succulents because guys it can be slightly risky to stress succulents during the summer because the temperatures are quite high and there is a high risk that the succulent leaves can get burnt so we will let the summer dormant succulents to naturally stress so we will be not talking much about summer dormant succulents but in this video we will be talking about winter dormant succulents so there are four main important things to remember cooler temperature more sunlight less watering and the most important the succulent has to be dormant now this is a natural process for the succulents to stress now in this method Almost 80% of the work is done by nature. Rest depends upon you, how you water and how the environment you have created for the succulent, meaning the type of soil, the pot, the location where the succulent is placed plays a very important role in stressing the succulent. So the next few pictures will help you understand how the succulent looks during their growing period and how they look during their dormant period. Now during winter, some succulents go dormant, hence it's easy and safe to stress 
less them because the temperature is cooler. So succulent leaves getting burnt is very rare. Now because the climate is cooler, the sun is less strong during winter, which means that the succulents can be exposed to direct sunlight much longer. But guys, again, this depends from city to city and the temperature. For example, in Bangalore during summer, I expose my sun succulents to morning direct sunlight until 10:30 a.m. and during winters I expose them to direct morning sunlight until 12:30 to 1 in the afternoon. Now meaning there is more sun so that means that there's going to be more color. And of course all this also depends upon the watering. Now keeping in mind that the succulent is dormant and requires less water so that is one benefit that we get to reduce watering. Apart from that, because it's the winter season, the soil is cooler, the soil does not dry up faster, hence that is also one benefit that we can consider in reducing the watering. So basically, the first thing that is the temperature has to be cool, there has to be more sunlight, there has to be less watering and the succulent has to be dormant. This is how you can acquire those beautiful and vibrant colors on your succulents. So this is my Crassula campfire. It's in its dormant period. As I said that 80% of the work is done by nature. So you can see how beautifully the succulent is stressed. Now guys, this is their growing period. Now guys, remember during their growing period, please don't stress your succulents because this is the time that they need to grow all this while they were in their dormant stage, which is that they were resting all this while, but this is the season wherein they have to grow. So do your regular scheduled watering and and if you want to provide some nutrients, you can do this during the growing period. But please refrain yourself from stressing your succulents during this time. So here you will see the transitioning of succulent from the growing season getting into the dormancy period and then completely getting dormant. Now this is a entire year process which I have put it into pictures. Now guys as I said there are four important things cooler temperatures, more sunlight, less watering and dormant succulent. Cooler temperatures and dormant succulent is something that the nature is going to take care of. Providing more sunlight and giving less water is the work that you have to do. So the 80% of work what was done by nature, the 20% of work what you have to do is providing more sunlight and less watering. So whenever I tend to upload pictures of succulents on Instagram or other social handles, a lot of you tend to give me so many positive replies and a lot of love and appreciation. I try my best to answer you as much as I can. Now a lot of you tend to get motivated after seeing these pictures and want to buy the same type of succulents hence you guys tend to message. Now guys I usually do not sell my succulents but in case if I ever sell these succulents to you, now there is no guarantee that the succulent is going to look the same with you maybe it might look much beautiful than this or it might be the other way around that is why guys in the beginning of the video as i said please don't compare your succulents with others for example this is echeveria minro the picture was taken during the winters during its dormant period you can see how beautiful it is it took me almost a year and a half for it to grow healthy and then it reached to this stage if you're assuming this is how i received the succulent then no this is how the succulent had arrived to my place when i opened the postage this is how the succulent looked like i had a lot of doubts whether this is echeveria minro or no but then after taking a lot of care after having a lot of patience and letting it go through the growing season that's how the succulent ended up looking. So guys, one of the question was from my friend whether adding fertilizers or nutrients to the soil will that give color to the succulent? So the answer is no guys. Remember out of those four main points, one of the point was dormant succulent. Now guys, when a succulent is dormant, you do not add any kind of nutrients. Because guys, the succulent is gone off to rest. It is basically hibernating for its growing season. So at this period of time, it is not going to accept any kind of nutrients. The only reason why we add water is basically we want to keep the roots moist. We do not want the roots to get 
dried up hence we use little bit of water to keep them moist but apart from this the succulent will not be taking any water will not be taking any nutrients because the succulent is gone off to sleep the succulent is resting there will be minimum to almost nil growth on the succulent that's why you'll notice that the succulent has a very stunned growth during this period so adding nutrients to the soil in order to get the color on the succulents is two opposite directions so please do not add nutrients to the soil in order to get the color so guys before i end the video there is another important thing that i missed out and that is in the succulent world guys there are only two seasons that is summer and winter based on these two seasons the succulent varieties tend to go dormant some will go dormant in summer some will go dormant in winter now there are quite a lot of succulents hence i will put the names of these succulents based on their dormancy in the description below you can take a look at it and according to that you can take care of your succulents so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please consider subscribing to my channel until then take care stay safe bye bye